Hey guys, it's me Parker. Welcome to my channel. It's been a hot minute. I am so sorry, but honestly, if you guys knew how much I've been working, you would be like, oh, like, I get it for sure. Um, so yeah, I have some time. I'm sitting down doing some readings and I like felt called to the, I was like, let's do the animals. And I prepared the animal deck and then the crystal deck wanted to jump in there and then I was like okay maybe not the animals and then I it wants to lead <laughs> right as I cut to the ace of swords don't know why but let's go with it um it is like one of my older decks so I find it hard to shuffle um I did see the it's more like floppy <laughs> so bear with me um I saw the hero font a bunch when I was shuffling I've already done a Taurus reading recently so um i'm not gonna take it as a taurus reading but uh we do have a taurus full moon um it's awesome looking like it's huge and oh it's a blue moon it's it's um leo okay um it's really awesome it's so pretty i love it my apologies in advance because my camera like um i dropped or yeah i dropped my phone um and the screen protector cracked like only right where my camera is so, isn't that awesome? <laughs> so it's a little blurry. Um, it's a little blurry in that one corner. My apologies. Um, I'll get it fixed eventually. I just haven't gotten around to ordering a new one because I don't have Amazon Prime or anything. Um, yeah, anyways, Leo. What's up with my Leos? How are you doing? Ooh, the magician. Mercurial energy. Mercury is retrograde right now in Libra. <clears throat> um, oh, and yeah, I was going to say, too, you could have Taurus in your chart. <clears throat> Sorry, or be dealing with someone who does. Um, okay. Whoa, okay. Three of Swords. Ooh, with that magician on the bottom. Interesting. Whoa, two threes. I Is this a third party situation, you guys? I don't like throwing that out. And again, third parties can be anything, right? Um, this can be too much drinking is causing a lot of pain. Uh, we'll see why that flew out together. Definitely, this is like a painful energy. The three of swords. Um, sorry, it's <laughs> it's annoying. I just naturally like gravitate to holding the car the cards this way. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, my apologies. I'll get that sorted soon. Yeah, the Three of Swords or the Three of Cups, I'm interested to see what that's all about. Uh, three of Swords is painful energy, heartbreak. Three Cups is Three Cups, um, either coming together in celebration or, um, you know, Cups represent our emotions, our feels, right? So, three of them. So, we'll see what the third cup is here. Anything else for Leo's? Leo's. Okay. Four of Swords, healing, yes! Oh, healing, yay! Three to the four, progression, healing of that pain. It's very meditative. It's healing the mind, um, healing heartbreak. Um, so that's good. We like that. Straight to the four, very matter-of-factly. I like it. Okay. Um, what's on the bottom? The Ten of Cups. Ooh, the Three of Pentacles. Ooh. Wow. Whoa, you guys. Okay, so... Definitely for some of you, um, this is a third party situation where uh, there was like another person, like straight up, um, you know, it's like, uh, I know a lot of people turn to tarot um, for advice on this kind of thing, right? Like, especially like if you got left or cheated on, it's like, oh, are we ever going to get back together? Or, like, am I ever going to heal or like find a new love, right? Um, there's you guys on the bottom, the sun, uh, your major, there's a tower moment here, something got found out, big time, again, the third cup could be anything, it could have been a secret, it doesn't have to be a third person, I'm reading it that way for some of you because of what's about to follow this, but there was a tower moment, tower moments destroy foundations, can be truth, with that moon energy, it's like definitely like things behind the scenes, right, something getting found out here, big time, Especially with that sun and moon. Wow. That's quite awesome, though. The sun and moon um, energy coming out together. Ma and Pa. Um, there's a tower moment here <clears throat> that ended something. Um, 
<clears throat> sorry, my throat's been a little um, dry today. It's really dry where I am. Um, I promise it's not the COVID. Um, the world, an ending, a major ending with that tower moment, but it can also, it's also a new beginning, right? It's a cycle. It's the end of the tarot and what follows is the fool, right? There's a, an emperor here. <clears throat> I was getting manipulative energy off this, um, when I saw it with that three of swords energy before, and there's a queen of pentacles, a feminine earth energy, man or woman, um, could be a Virgo with this for sure. I was getting a bit of a manipulative energy off this uh, magician earlier when I saw that three of swords and that three of cups. Um, but isn't this interesting Then we have a magician or an emperor and an empress here. Um, looks like an emperor and empress coming together with the beginning, you know, part of the cyclical rebirth energy of the world. Um, that Taurian energy or Aries. Um, Venus, um, again, Libra, or, uh, Taurus, for me, um, yeah, it's very interesting. If this is a third party, there's definitely, like, a manipulative feminine energy on the side here. Uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. This could just be a straight up third party reading, sorry if it is. Um, an emperor and empress, though, wow, hmm. Interesting. Uh, somebody also could have left a spouse here. I'm just saying the Queen of Pentacles is, you know, she could, she's quite often married. Um, yeah, we'll see what else wants to come out here. There's a lot of sleepless nights over this, like, like a lot of mental energy. We got three of swords, four of swords, nine of swords. But this is being healed with that four of swords, a world energy. Um, so we'll see. Very, it's kind of, it's like nightmares, can't sleep, um, haunted in the mind. Um, but then there's like this true pair situation. So I'm sorry if this is a third party situation, um, especially if you're married to this person, uh, take it as it resonates, could be vice versa. Um, this is like, uh, uh, with the Emperor and the Empress and the Ten of Cups and that Sun energy, it's kind of like screaming family, like, like someone's getting together and it's going to lead to complete and utter emotional fulfillment and stability. And this is coming together to build. Um, it looks like an Emperor and an Empress coming together here after some kind of tower moment with a Queen of Pentacles. Well, okay. <laughs> Third party reading, King of Pentacles, so, ooh, interesting. Ooh, with that Nine of Swords. Ooh, okay, interesting. Maybe not a third party. We'll see why the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. Why the Three of Swords, there's that Ten of Cups again. Yeah, I think someone's coming together in celebration. Um, uh, Emperor and an Empress, a true pair situation, and... It's really hurting this Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, the sun, though. I mean, that's illumination. That's warmth. That's light. That's happy outcomes with that world energy. I keep seeing the justice card. Some of you, this is a divorce. Ooh. Very single energy, that is. Going off into a new adventure. Maybe not even going towards anyone specific. Um, okay. Whoa, King of Swords. Whoa. Hate of swords. Hmm. Maybe not even going towards anyone specific in mind. Um, you know, that Ace of Wands did show with the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, here's this King of Swords feeling very bound. Um, so Emperor, that masculine man or woman, it's just action versus, you know, um, being receptive or more intuitive or nurturing, right? Um, more action-driven, acting out of masculine. Ah, that eight to the nine, this emperor is representing in the mind, like, probably can't stop thinking about this. Cannot stop thinking about it with all this mental energy. Um, there's a king of cups on the bottom. Wow. For some of you, definitely, this was the end of a marriage. We have a king of cups. Uh, this, uh... Make no mistake, this emperor is in his fields. He is representing as cups and swords, right? Thinking about his emotions a lot. 
uh, him or her. Um, I'm just saying him because he's coming out. It's coming out in masculine energy. But if it's vice versa, then it's vice versa. Someone taking their cup. This king. There's communication or clarity or that finding out about that, and then this world ending energy or going off into a new beginning. Um. There's like egotistical or like that manipulative energy regarding like persevering in a ten of cups situation which is like family shared with others the end of the cup cycle right their family in that picture this is like a very tired again um hearing haunted that's weird and there's like this could be that queen of pentacles energy for sure that was attached to that magician right um maybe trying to sabotage a marriage too that could be could be um Loss of something that this King of Cups was putting a lot of energy into. Again, man or woman, or just main maintaining a lot of control over emotions, but there's really this, like, intense loss with that Three of Swords and Five of Cups. I'm sorry, you guys. I just saw 11, 11. Um, your true pair, this Emperor and this Empress. Um, loss of something that work was being put into big time. Um, so, whoa, why so bound? Ooh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sloppy. Jeez, the cards. Mm. Okay. Queen of Wands. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like there's a feminine energy that's trying to maybe manipulate the situation or sabotage the situation. Uh, or maybe it has. And it led to, I'm kind of getting a cheating vibe here, you guys. And it's like, Led to, like, a loss of a family with that Five of Swords energy. Or it led to, like, loss of something that was being built on. That is being healed. This could be very old energy. Right? Persevering. Why this persevering? I think this queen, again, man or woman, is not is persisting. Not letting it go. With this emperor. Uh, and this king of swords. This emperor just doesn't know what to do about it. Um, hmm, interesting. Maybe this emperor is afraid of getting found out if this is a secret. Hmm, we had options, who knows. Sorry, this is a straight up third party reading. I'm just feeling this, this other feminine energy big time with that five of swords. Whoa, I just got so lightheaded. That was weird. It was like my world jilted. Whoa, that was freaking weird. Okay, why is this king of swords so bound? Mm. Two of Wands and a choice between an Empress and a Queen of Pentacles. Very clear cut reading. Very clear cut. Um, wow. Uh, yes. And it's causing this king a lot of pain, you guys. If you're aware of the situation, he's coming out in the mental energy, can't stop thinking about it, haunted, but in the heart space too with those cups. Um, very bound. Yeah, anything else about this King of Swords energy? Whoa. The Empress, his Empress, yes. Which one is my Empress? This King might also not be together with either of these people, and he's trying to figure out um, which one he, yeah. <laughs> Looking at something. Um, in this Emperor, yeah, something that was being built here came to an end or was built a foundation that was either in the works or was built ended here um justice right it could have been divorce big time just saying um with that justice card again because that was showing in the rider weight yeah the end of built working to build on something with someone big time this emperor is actually looking directly at this process, this ending, this tower moment, which we did see. Um, looking directly at it. Um, and he's in this healing four of swords energy. Potentially he lost his empress due to this meddling queen of pentacles, queen of wands energy. Um... He's looking at this healing, um, this judgment, this ending, um, maybe wanting to research this big time with the judgment energy, Pisces energy, 
But there's that four of swords. He's in this energy. Him, man or woman, it's just a masculine energy, right? Maybe took action where he shouldn't have, or she shouldn't have taken action. Um, and looking at this loss, um, again, remember, his, his masculine energy is feeling very bound in the loss of this, that which was being built on. This is a lot of work being put into something. This could have been a very long-standing relationship again in marriage, looking at that really looking at it or I'm picking up on two storylines with that two of wands energy um, really looking and trying to figure out make a judgment call about what this masculine energy is going to put work into um, that's a lot of focus again with that mental energy right and this is like the spying or the looking card right he's looking what am I putting focus on so I'm reading this two ways for some of you masculine energy is looking at the law and feeling loss and boundness um and this hurt in this three of four of cups uh, uh three of cups and loss of celebration of coming together that three of swords very painful in the heart and the mind um looking at the loss and sitting in the loss of that which a lot of work and i'm feeling time for that group of you um was put into and then for others of you where this is um is the reverse where the world is starting a cycle of building to collaborate and putting work into that could potentially lead to a ten of cups and a true match um you know soulmate um situation i'm just getting love off this reading i'm getting relationship a third party either a choice or an ending here big time i'm looking at what to put work into what to act towards what is my empress what is my empress um, so for those of you where this uh, masculine energy is looking at his empress and he knows that he's lost her and he's trying to heal that or heal the situation with that judgment energy, it can be a revival, right? Uh, it can be like uh, Lazarus, uh, water baby, my favorite reader, reader calls it that, um, you know, trying to research a relationship or a commitment here, looking at the empress, wanting to act in confidence towards this empress. Um, but feeling very bound or for the other group, um, trying to figure out which one's the Empress, because again, that queen of pentacles is like a spousal energy, right? It's earthen, right? She rules the earth domain and she's the nurturing aspect of the earth domain, right? Um, so for some of you, this masculine energy is having a hard time figuring this out with this two of wands energy, feeling very bound and hurt in that energy. Um, because they're, they're, the feminine energy that is around them, again, man or woman, um, is manipulating the situation to make it look like they are the queen of wands to this king of wands, a match, but it's really this empress and this, this king of, um, this emperor is really trying to figure that out. So let's see what else comes out. The sun. So for those of you where this, um, was, a long-standing relationship this is the mo the tower moment um where the you know that um it got found out the third party um you know uh and this was the also i'm feeling the family dynamic that was shared or relationship or you know uh happy times that you guys had together before all this happened um i'm feeling it as both the illumination um which caused this tower moment of that moon energy being found out, um, if third party again, um, but for some of you, this is what this emperor is seeking is enlightenment in this four of swords energy, trying to, trying to, um, enlighten himself, um, about which one's his empress here. Wow. <laughs> so, wow, a lot of Piscean energy there. There's cancer here as well. Um, again, finding out a secret, big time. Um, or this emperor, emperor is keeping his options a secret here um, because he's sussing out his empress here. Um, you know, there is pain with this three of swords. So for most of you, it's not a secret what was found out that someone was juggling, right? Um, two people, I'm feeling it like that big time. Um, but for some of you, 
I'm also with that enlightenment energy, again, sun and moon, right? We had that earlier. You guys are definitely a true pair here, ma and pa, right? The emperor to the empress and that hierophant to the high priestess, very divine, um, would be this soul connection. So for the group of you where this emperor is trying to figure that out, and again, if you're a woman, you could be coming out as the emperor because that's just taking action with that king of wands energy, right? Fire moves. Fire is heat, fire, you know, is drive. It moves in all directions, you know, it moves, right? Fire. Um, wow, really trying to get in touch with the intuition here to figure this out, but getting kind of lost in the mental process in that with the, the swords energy. Um, yeah, and that the, this is like juggling, right? So back and forth between the mind and the heart, right? With the three, that's the same thing. I was like, wow, why'd that come out together, right? So that's for the emperors in that boat. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just put this back up upside down. I'm not sure. Like, obviously, if this was a past situation, someone got dropped. Or both people. <laughs> and this emperor's just trying to heal himself. Um, or this emperor has dropped the options and is trying to heal and resurge the situation. Or... This is just the act of the emperor figuring out who his empress is. Very, very divine. And again, this emperor was being manipulated by that queen. I can feel it. Um, yeah. Okay, the four of swords. Justice. Justice, you know, and justice keeps showing. You know, I hate to say it, but if you were fucking around on an empress, like, it is justified what happened. I'm just saying. Um, you know, not to be rude, but it's an empress. You don't fuck around on your empress, right? And if you do, I'm sorry, mistakes happen, but justice is here. And that high priestess, oof. But again, justice, uh, for the emperor, some of the emperors are trying to bring justice back into this situation. This could also symbolize a divorce. Or, um, in this four of swords meditative, trying to get in touch with the intuition and the heart space back and forth between the two and getting kind of stuck in the mental process. Um, more air energy, Libra. We are in Libra season, Mercury retrograde um, in Libra as well. And Venus is in Libra. Um, could be dealing with one or have it in your chart, but if the astrology is not current, the message still could be. Um, it would be very justified for this emperor to take the time out in this meditative hangman's space state um, to truly move towards his true pair here, you know? Again, man or woman, just action, right? Taking action towards the person. Wow, really can't stop thinking about it. Justice card again. All right, four of swords. Four of swords. Four of swords. The hermit, Virgo. Taking the time, really figuring this out. There's that too. It's all about choices too. Wow, really like trying to look within for sure. But again, mercurial mental energy, right? Um, this emperor may not be approaching it the right way because there's a need to like get in in touch with the intuition here. Um, but that's good. That is healing, or that's just this emperor in this um state of like trying to figure out his empress here, really suss it out, or, like, figure out how to mend the situation, really at a crossroads, or that back and forth between the mental and the heart space, right, underneath that, wow, <laughs> for some of you, this, uh, this emperor really will get in touch with the heart space, and, um, they're going to be enlightened, and then their knight of swords, Gemini energy, um, Leo, there's you again, is going to, um, attain this enlightenment about his empress and then move very quickly out of this two of swords energy um, but for some of you this uh, being a player for the other boat this being a player and sabotaging this connection really put this emperor into the heart space where before they were just acting out of the mind you know like monkey brain like ooh, like I'm gonna fuck around on my empress and then Oh no, the tower happened, it got found out, and then the empress just left and it put this, this, um, this emperor into this, uh, heart space energy, and now they're really, like, screwed up over it and trying to heal the situation or resurge it, 
Uh, tell me more about this hermit. Very straightforward. Sorry, it's not like all cool and spiritual. It's just straight up a third party reading or an emperor who's got some options here trying to suss out. Um, yeah, options and an empress. So again, there. I don't know that tarot can offer too much guidance for you because the call here is really to get in touch with your heart space. Um, being in or near water at this time really might help. Meditation is clearly called for here. Clearly. Options. The card of options and an empress. So again, looking within to try and heal the situation after having options with an empress. Or, um, or um, having options and one of them is your empress. And there's really a need to tap into your intuition here. You can talk to your guides. Um... This is all about an inner process here. Um, yeah, very straightforward. Um, make no mistake, though, there is an empress, and it is very beautiful um, with that high priest, the high priestess, and the sun and the moon. And yeah, there is a true pair situation here. So if this emperor is coming towards you, he is, or she is, it's just action towards you. Um, is a true pair to you, like, the one. Um, it's kind of up to you what you do with this energy. Um, they are trying to heal the situation here, and a pentacle has been dropped, right? And there was that manipulative, almost even magic or, like, falsifying of a personality that I was picking up on with that Queen of Pentacles. Um, that is over now, big time, or you would know that if it got found out. Um, but if someone's approaching you, um... Yeah, <laughs> could be a very divine love connection. All right, you guys, so 